my life. These plants are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their poison. to adjust our strategy since there's more than one. Let's try using a sigil. I see some. <laughs> Watch out, those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of runic magic. They're impervious to physical attacks. My arrows can disrupt their protection spell. is home again after all that's happened we don't have the equipment for this Hardy are in Vanaheim? We learned the giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look, the sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. The eastern migration. It's just as I remember it. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freyr, too.
Damage it without destroying the mother. It's a large, bulbous thing. You can't miss it. What is this? I don't know. But giants definitely crafted it. There's two wolves represented here. Perhaps a connection to our friends in the sky. A mystery for another time. So much has happened since I last saw Freyr. I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. 
Did you ever apologize to Demos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. Now how to get across? My sigil arrow should be able to carry the fire across the river to reach the bramble. Forgiveness can be powerful, even for the unworthy. My wife Faye taught me that. Hmm. Well, be glad you have a spouse to remember for. Me. All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depths to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. <sighs> Hmm. 
Watch for the plants. They like me, but strangers not so much. I see that. We don't have the equipment for this. So what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know, but I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Ready? As I ever will be. Turn to us at last. Yes. Uh, let's celebrate. You reclaim the throne, we'll rebuild, me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm... not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility, one you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported, no matter how selfish his choices. <sighs> I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me when I needed you the most. Freya, please. I I thought you were dead. No. I've had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. Have any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. I mourned you. Oh, I've missed you so much. And I, you, Envy. But 
but I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare heads. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, if you ain't staying here, Bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tyr. That's kind of you, Brock. I may do just that. Well, all right then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Well, brother. Here to meet our new allies, or shall we depart? You suppose that big fella we're traveling with might want to help me with a thing? Mayhem. Now and again, he's in the mood to make you useful. What is it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the river delta. Once Owen's army came to town. I lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. So frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. What irreplaceables? Well, just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here and you'll make me happy as a sunbeam. Oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge. Mm. What sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? I do not know. Tell me about the camp dog. Lord Freyr found her half dead in the jungle. She probably escaped the Blothundar breeding farm north of here. We all told him she was beyond saving, but he never gave up. She healed and has a the sense. She's a sweet girl. She's pure of heart. Believes in your goodness, even if you don't. Keep her sharp and she'll keep you alive. Still owe me the story of who made these things.
Come back if you need more crap. About time I had something to do. Let's make something then. And Lady Freya? Can't see. What are you looking for? Need something special? Take care now. I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you... Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word.
This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Bruna. Go ahead, carve the letter. Sula. It's an incantation. Su. No. The elves in Freyr's camp mentioned a gate like this in Alfheim. Get on about some sacred light elf sanctum out past the barrens. A trip to Alfheim. Well, we can decide at the gateway. This boat should get us there if we can clear those vines. Remember what to do? log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. <laughs> so it's true. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now, but he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well, if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. Hmm. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. Good. We can explore the river now. And hopefully write some new home.
What is your unfinished business? I left something behind, near the falls. Your wedding site? Now why do you want to be going back there? To be free of the bonds of my marriage. And to Asgard. I think you severed that a long time ago. Not completely. Not enough. Guide us. My people settled this river many ages ago. Thousands traveled it on pilgrimage to the Shrine of Worship. But then the Aesir came. This is all that's left. Reavers, of course. This crest belonged to Odin, a peace offering from my people. Huh! <laughs> 
This mentions a spell that puts trolls to sleep, and a magic relic that acts as a sort of counter spell. All is desolation. A fitting spirit. Freya, you returned. Astrid, what happened to you? To your garden? The Ainhariar. My life's work rotted. My monument to your glory reduced to this. I am sorry, my queen. You need never apologize to me, old friend. I swore to keep this garden in bloom until you return to live forever amongst its putrescence. A just punishment. I will return, Astra. Kratos, we purge this garden of poison. Why? The earth is a reflection of those who tend it. So long as the land is plagued, her soul will be as well. We have to destroy the totems. They're poisoning Astrid's garden. armor piece bearing Lunda's brand. Shame it's broken. Nice bit of work otherwise. Then why leave it? You suspicious of her, brother? When if your lordship seeks six is important, so she would see. not have left it behind. Ah, perhaps. See that explosive? Setting it off could help. Ah, maybe you can hit it from a different angle. I wonder what a good hurl of your axe might do to that flaming pot. Life returns to the garden. Good. This 
garden still aches. There must be more poison somewhere. Look, the door is held shut by that counterweight. We lower it, the door will open. Break that chain, and it'll lower the counterweight. Those vines have grown through the window. Maybe we could get closer from the other side. Those vines, they're growing from that bridge. Maybe you can break the chain from here as well, no? The gate's open. We can head back and get inside.
I await the day you will go. See that explosive? Setting it off could help. Ah, maybe you can hit it from a different angle. Sigil arrows won't work on this. The family crest of Henir. Poor man. Can you see if there's a way inside while you're up there? Anything interesting, brother? Finished. Let's return to Astrid. The land. It's alive again. Yes. I Your garden grows again. Freya, how did you... It's okay, Astrid. It's time to move on. Thank you, goddess. I do love you. And I, you. You've done a great kindness. A temporary one. The garden will die again. All things do. That is no reason not to try. <laughs> 